Hey guys, welcome to GBS Academy. In this video, we are going to learn about WordPress plugins. In my last video, I had explained all about WordPress themes and we had, if you remember, we had installed Astra theme in this website, right? Now, in this video, I'll show you what are WordPress plugins, why we should use plugins, some examples of good plugins and finally how to install plugins right so what are wordpress plugins if you ask i would say that plugins adds some custom functionalities to your theme right now if you see this is a astra theme now what if i want a contact form here if i need a contact form i definitely need a functionality right it should accept the form submission from users and then it should save it in the database and then it should email me uh, because I need the data of customers and messages to reach me, right? So that's a contact form. If And if, if that's the functionality that we want in this theme, we'll, we can add a plugin called as contact form seven or gravity forms or happy forms. There are so many uh, plugins out there. If you go to plugins here and click on add new, you can browse millions of plugins here easily. If you, ju you just need to type contact form. Right, these many plugins are there and you can review each one of them and select the one which suits your requirement. Each one, uh, each one is unique in its own way and you need to see which plugin is compatible with your particular theme and then you can go ahead and install it from here. Suppose that I have SSL installed in my uh, web hosting account but it is not activated for this particular website. So what I'll do is I'll install simple SSL or we can say SSL simple SSL right so here we have these many plugins to activate SSL in our web hosting account suppose I need some CDN and so that I the images on my website are stored in the CDN is there any free CDN service available out there yes there is so many like Cloudflare and Jetpack Jetpack is really popular Cloudflare is also popular definitely Jetpack, I have already activated it on my website, so it is showing active. And WooCommerce is a plugin to add an e-commerce functionality to your WordPress website. So we use WooCommerce a lot in most of our clients' uh, projects. So this is how our plugins add functionalities to themes to your website. Now the second question that might arise in your mind is why do we need to install separate plugins why can't these functionalities be directly coded onto the uh, theme right this is a legitimate question definitely and there are certain themes that offer functionalities up to certain level suppose that if a theme is built for a, a car booking website car rental website the, the that particular theme will have the functionality to book or rent car if suppose the uh, theme is built to uh, make appointments for doctors in that case the theme will have that functionality to book an appointment for that particular doctor but now in our case we have installed the theme called Astra which by default does not have any functionality but still it's very powerful because it's compatible with almost any plugin out there they left it as it is without adding any custom functionality because 
so that the third party plugins can easily be installed and activated and used with their theme. Suppose that the theme has some custom inbuilt functionality. So in that case, third party plugins may conflict with their functionality if we use uh, third party plugins. So that's the first reason. Second reason is um, suppose I have installed a theme called Astra today and a client wants to change the theme or he prefers to install some other theme tomorrow. And before going live, we have been told to change the theme. And we suppose that right now it's Astra and we need to install Ocean WP or Generate Press. In that case, I can easily switch to different themes without losing the functionalities which has been integrated using plugins. What hap what what will happen if I custom build functionality within the theme? If I change theme, the functionality is gone. But if you use plugins, even if the themes are changed, your functionalities are intact and just theme is changed it means just look and feel will be changed and everything fun as far as functionalities are concerned everything will be intact now i hope you exactly know what is theme what is plugins and how to why we use plugins right and there are uh, several plugins out here you can I, for this demonstration purpose i'll use i'll install a special plugin and you'll understand why I said that Astra is my favorite or else like preferred theme because these developers from Astra team have created a plugin called as Starter Sites. So this is the plugin called as Starter Templates and it's built by Brainstorm Force who are the developers of uh, the theme called Astra and right now I have the Astra theme so I'm installing this plugin just to show you that how powerful a plugin can be. Let's just have a look at the current website will refresh it this is it right this is a fresh install it has no content it has no design slightly design is there but there is no content and no header templates no footer templates nothing and I'll install this plugin called a starter template and then click on activate now you have successfully activated one plugin so for you you can install any plugin which is required for your project for now for this demonstration purpose i'm installing this particular plugin now i have an option here called as c library i'll open it now i'll have this option to select a page builder my favorite one is Elementor now here as you can see we have so many um, templates out here which we can directly in directly install on our website uh, so let's say we have uh, business let's let's select business and free we want to install free templates and then I'll select life coach here or let's say yeah let's go ahead and select this life coach template here you can see these these many options I have and I can select any particular template and I can import the selected template itself or else what the second option that I have is import complete site 
import complete site will import these three four five five pages on my particular website from their servers let's try you can just see this website how it looks from clicking on this preview button as well this is the site and this is how it should look let's import and see if it works you can delete old data right now i don't have any data so let's it's it's not necessary if you have pre-installed any other content before you might want to select this option if you want to delete previous contents and then hit import now just wait and see how powerful a plugin can be it's installing all the necessary softwares it's installing templates and design from their servers to our website using some API this is just to show you how advanced plugins can be and you can you, you, there are several plugins for contact forms for live chat and for um, CDNs for SSL for security purpose you can go ahead and explore plugins right so the site has been imported successfully let's click on this button and see if the site has been successfully imported or not okay so this is the domain name and here I have the site now right we have all these beautiful pages the design has been imported now and I can edit all these things as per my requirement I can change this image I can change this text I can change this button link everything I can do it from Elementor and how to do it with Elementor it's the topic for upcoming videos and for now it's just see you just need to see how powerful the plugins can be so there are millions of plugins out there go ahead and explore plugins by visiting this page add new and start exploring plugins out there right and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section and hope you understood what are plugins why we use plugins so as you can see here we have Yoast SEO, SEO plugins as well, Classic Editor, WooCommerce, Page Builders, SSL, Security Purpose, Duplicating, Contact Form for Migration, SEO, Sitemap Generation for MailChimp Integration, for Caching, SMTP, for Redirection, Advanced Custom Fields, to Compress Image. So possibilities are limitless so go ahead and explore and thank you for your time and we'll see you in the next video thank you